And that's all you want to do? Oh, me then. Just that, oh, me then. That, I'm, I'm uh, in the process of reaching out to them right now. Let them know, like, hey, you know, if I come to the office, the business is going to come back. So, all that being said, what exactly made you run, start running for me? Window, and I guide her through text messages to tell her where my apartment was at. So, in a video that I can't get, thing that I graped through, you know what I'm saying? But I should not tell her that. Um, when me and her was talking, we was vibing or whatever, so um, I ended up. The criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Yo, welcome back to Goldie's Room. You know where the music is hot and the vibes are chill. I'm your host, Ruby. You know, I got a school thing, yo. Fucking baby. Daddy. Hold up. The mayor's in town. Uh, <laughs> cooler than yo, baby. Daddy. Uh, editor, cut that out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and today, we are kicking it with Mayor Peoples. Yes, like, sir. Yes, sir. The that's kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Mayor Peoples. Like, is it, was that an intention for your parents to do the whole thing? Because now you're running for mayor. No, I ain't going to lie. So, like, my real name is Lataj Peoples. But for, like, the past five years, I've been going for Mayor Peoples. You know what I'm saying? But it was crazy because somebody said, oh, are you actually running for mayor? And I was like, no. You know what I'm saying? Then I actually stopped and thought. Okay, I be changing stuff in, by myself. Why not actually run for mayor? So I watched the last election. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Mayor Jones, about, he won. Mayor, yeah, Mayor Yeah, Dolan. with him, you know what I'm saying? And he made history, you know what I'm saying, by becoming the first black mayor, you know what I'm saying? That means a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I just love how the fact that how he came in, in general, and just, you know what I'm saying, out of nowhere, no experience, no nothing, you know what I'm saying? Just came, just came in there and just took over, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate that because that gave us new inspiration saying that, hey, if one person can do it, why can't we? A lot of people lose their faith, they lose their interest. A lot of people just need motivation to get to the next step. You know what right, I'm saying? So right. him getting into the office gave us the motivation to say, hey, we can make change too. So he came in with promises saying he's going to do this and this and this. And then, I mean, for the people all they know what happened. What do you, what do you mean by that? He didn't. He didn't fulfill the promises. The same thing that Walker did when he came in. He the first year when he when he made promises. The first year he was making change, and then he realized, hold on, wait, I can say no. And then he started saying no. Then he started being crooked and just taking money and you know saying only hurting out certain people with stuff or whatever, and then shutting down on other people. That we could have had so many businesses right now. We could have been thriving right now. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't fit. And it, it didn't uh, align with his goal. You know what I'm saying? Do you, so, do you know about some of the businesses that we could have had or anything? Oh, I don't want to talk about it because I'm I'm uh, in the process of reaching out to them right now. Okay. And letting them know, like, hey, you know, if I come to the office, then business is going to come back. Okay. So I really don't want to, you know, spoil anything for Alden, but I really have the potential to make Alden a thriving community. I really have the potential to make it a thriving society, but we got to work together to make this come into fruition. You know what I'm saying? So I really need the vote of the people. I really need y'all to come together and just realize that, you know, without y'all, I'm nothing. All right. So but with y'all, and if y'all don't vote me, you know, you're just going to vote somebody that's going to make more promises and not fulfill on it. Now, didn't you just, re did you go to college? You just recently graduated, like, high school, right? Yeah, high school. So not, not no college, college, no, no college at all. Uh, just straight high school. So for me, I think I was in a time of my life where, you know, I was just tired of school. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to venture off and do something else. So I started doing, like, skits and stuff. And, you know, I was getting, like, a little notoriety from it, but not too much. And I just wanted to... Just relax, you know what I'm saying? Just chill and enjoy the city that I was from. And it was so much to do back then, you yeah, know what I'm saying? You, you started rapping and stuff. Yeah, so I started rapping. Uh, I never took it serious, um, but my friends were like, let's just go to the studio. So I go with my brother, we'll start rapping. It was just local music and stuff like that. And I was pretty much just, I don't know, wasting my life away until one day, like, I mean, if I'm being serious, I was just wasting my life away until one day, you know, it just hit me, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going through so much in the city, and we say we want this, we want this, but what are we really doing to make that change? Nothing. So I said, okay, what can I start doing? So I joined the organization. Um, it's called Aces for Youth. Um, a lot of people are familiar with uh, Mr. Norris. Um, he's like a, he's a veteran. Uh, he's a strict person, but, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Hey, he cool, you know what so I'm saying? So is Mr. Norris the one that kind of guided you and helped you run for mayor? No, he didn't, he didn't uh, guide me to run for mayor. He guided me to... Um, 
do what's right for the community. You know what I'm saying? He he changed. He really changed my whole mindset when I met him because the ideas that he had, but was was really phenomenal. Right. He just didn't have the support. Mm. So we were trying to get the support. We were trying to get the support. But the way I I really feel like the way he talked, because he from military background experience. He used to that attention stuff, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they were softer, you know what I'm saying? My generation and the generation after me is kind of, you know, more sensitive, you know what I'm saying? So it was kind of one of those things where the way he was speaking, he couldn't keep the people. And then he had grants, he had the support, you know, from the officials. He had all that, he just didn't have the people. So he said, I'm not going to use these grants if I don't have the people to help me with the grants, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I was like, okay, that makes sense, you know? But I was like, I said... I was confused. I was like, I thought Grant didn't have to pay it back. He says it's not about paying anything back. It's about how they're gonna view you. Oh, you received this money, didn't use it. But oh, why did you do that? You know what I'm saying? We could have used that for something else or whatever. So he never used any of the grant money, but he always had grants available, ready for him. Uh, we just couldn't get the people. So then uh, I came across uh, Josh. You know what I'm saying? Josh Young, okay. and he at the time it was like 2017. And he started the Fist Up, Guns Down movement. You know what right. I'm saying? So my brother was a part of that as well. You know what I'm saying? They was going around from areas, you know, fighting or whatever. Uh -huh. And it was it was a cool thing. You know what I'm saying? But that was still during a time where we was doing Aces for You. So uh, we never met during that era. We met kind of like, you know, recently, <laughs> very recently. So it was, but the movement that he had, you still can see what was going on in the streets. You know what I'm saying? The streets are going to talk regardless. So we can see what's going on. And we, the police supported their organization. You know, the fist up, guns down, where they can go to certain areas and certain communities and fight. But it was like some of the neighbors complaining because they see groups of people and they're outside fighting. So it just became too many complaints or whatever. But if the citizens knew what was really going on, you know, they probably would have allowed it. But I feel like moving forward, maybe they should have like a building and just host them there. And then that way people can get off. People, they have a lot of anger. Mm -hmm. So if they can just fight it off with the person they're in tool with, they can talk it over and say, man, I, I needed that, man. I, thank you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what it is. So so all of that being said, what exactly made you run start running for mayor? We're not, we're not seeing that every single time we would um, host meetings, every single time we would go to different you know groups and see how they run their things in the organization. Every time we um, went public to the public and said, hey, come out here, supporters doing this or whatever, we're getting away free food and then you know doing all this stuff. And it seemed like every single time time we ran into a railroad I wanted to see what that railroad was so as I got older I said can't nobody stop me if I'm the mayor because I, they have to go through me to get everything's approved so I can help the community by approving all the new businesses that's going to come in that I know is going to generate uh, revenue that's going to make money I can um, go ahead and stop the all these weed shops or whatever because the reason why I want to stop weed shops is y'all spending so much money on steam that doesn't make sense it how doesn't does it make sense it doesn't make sense to make a weed shop when you have people that sell marijuana, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't make sense just to have a weed shop. What makes sense is telling all those individuals, hey, um, apply for like an LLC or a license to sell. That way we don't have to have one business spot. We can just have different, multiple different locations. Allow that person to make their, make the thing that they love to do, but make it legal. It makes more sense to just do that rather than say, hey, here's only one spot. Only we're going to make the money. Just make money simultaneously from each person that's already selling. They already have the experience. They already have the customers. Let them sell legally. You know what I'm saying? Set up a way to do that, and then they can profit. But cause that was because weed was illegal at first. Yeah, and then they finally made it legal. Yeah, and as soon and as they made it legal, they made that building. Yeah, but marijuana is a three trillion dollar business. Right. So I mean, they make money off of it. They make money, but they could make more by working with people individually. That's a very like, interesting like, concept. Like, like if it's, if it's five people selling weed out their houses, mm -hmm. why not go to each one of those five people and say, hey, let me offer you a job. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can you can go through the whole process to make it legal, but just sell out your sell out your place. You know what I'm saying? Like you've been doing. What's the difference? I don't know. That sounds. It's it's, it's more to it though. But there's always you make there's always a way to make something legal. Is that does that sound does that sound legit to you? I started have, just having one building. Listen, I'm here, we're here yeah. having political views. And yeah, you're, you're no, the, I mean, what you think mayor, though? Right? What you think? Because I I just I, maybe I. Hey, comment down below. Do you <laughs> think? Just comment your think. thoughts, okay? Yeah, yeah, on saying. this concept, should we give weed dealers uh, weed? A license? What, what we say, weed dealers, weed, weed, weed sellers, weed sellers, yeah. uh, black market on the street dealers. You feel me? Yeah. Give them LLC, start businesses, 
and let what is that? Give them, they can do it out their home, out their own homes, but they still got to pay the taxes. You know what I'm saying? We we need the taxes so we can get the money to make the city a better place. We need taxes. But wouldn't that take money away from the dispensary? I guess it's already doing that now. So I what's guess. the point of having the dispensary when it first came out? It, it opened, but then like prices are so, so are you high. saying close down dispensaries? I'm not saying. I, I'm talking about in Alton, like just I hear just you. I just hear you. Alton. So close down the dispensaries? Not all of them. There's only three. In Alton, there's three in Alton. Yeah. No, there's only one that sells weed. Um, the the real one, right? I thought they the other one was CBD. Weed. I thought the other one was like CBD. They all sell weed. Ah, oh, dang. I only tried one of them. The other one was just. The other one was just. There's the, there's one in Godfrey. There's one where Woody's is. We used to be, and there's one downtown. Yeah, the one downtown too. There's three. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Uh, I knew about, I knew about the. One. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. I want to open it, and I know about the one that's kind of like right across the street from Aldi's. Hey, man, I love you to death, man. Yeah, but as the man, across the street from Aldi's, that's not. But really I mean, like, I'm they don't not. Sell real weed. They I'm sell not. Yeah. Bullshit, whatever the fuck they call that's Mr. Head. That's the Mr. Head. Mr. Mr. Yeah, Smack. Mr. Mr. That's not even a. I, I'm. I'm sell, not a hippie. Uh, sell, I'm not a hippie, so I'm not gonna know hippie, every uh, single. Right. A hippie? I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, don't you do. You, <laughs> Mayor people, you know, we're gonna have to have a talk. What do you consider yourself then? If you don't consider yourself like did, me, do you know what hippies was back me? then? You talking to, are you, hold up, pause. Are you talking to me? I, I, I'm talking just to you. What do you consider yourself when you smoke weed? What, what do you consider yourself? Me, somebody who smokes weed, just, just somebody that person? smokes weed, or me? You, I'm talking to you directly to you. I'm talking to you. What do you consider yourself when you smoke weed? What do you, what do you consider I'm yourself? I'm not a hippie. Okay, so what are you then? I just mm-hmm. smoke. I'm just, like you smoke cigarettes. You a cigarette smoker? I'm a weed smoker. <laughs> weed smoker. There you go. Just smoke weed, right? Okay. I I thought everybody just considered stuff hippie like right Mayor there, Peoples, nah, we nah, need nah, to nah, have nah. you. You know what? I didn't. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know. That. Yeah. I mean, Listen, no, there's a, there's nah, a lot of man, different types. Nah, bro, you, I feel like you finna have an urban abonics class what? curriculum or something. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, hey, maybe you just real. You know what? I ain't gonna say that. Yeah. I ain't gonna say that. No, I'm just saying like a lot of stuff. I don't. I don't dig down deep into. You know what, what I'm saying? What kids are saying? He's not like. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. <laughs> oh, wait. Yo, that's nah. funny, dude. That's but funny. I mean, if you if you ask, I feel like actually that's that's a good debate too. I feel like if if you ask Drake and Kendrick, both if you compare them both together, who do you think is better? No, no, we ain't even gonna go there. We finna, yeah. uh, no. Nah, right, no, let's yeah, not go there. Yeah. there. Let's not go there. I was gonna ask you, what do you bring to the table, Mayor Peoples? If you're trying to be the mayor, you're fresh out of high school. Pause. No offense, yeah. saying it respectfully. Yeah. You're fresh out of uh, high school. Okay. You know college. You know background and like that. You okay. got some friends that helped you. Uh, some some mentors along that helped you along the a way. Some great friends and a great support system on your back. Yes, um, and a fiance that's behind you now. But what do you bring to the table, and what do you think that you would do differently than the current mayor or past mayors? Mm, that's a good question. In reality, I feel like what I bring is hope. I want peace among the streets. I want peace among the people. The younger generation and the older gen- generation is always getting to with each other. And I had to exclude myself from a second and look from a point of view and see what was going on. So what I bring to the table is not only hope, to a brighter future, but I also can bring the brighter future. You know what I'm saying? Some people can bring the steps, but they don't want to walk on the steps. I'll be the one to go ahead and walk on the steps, and I'll let you know, hey, it's safe. Come on, come up here. That's what I bring to the table. I bring security. I bring a lot of, I was talking to some of the youth the other day, and they were saying that it's certain streets or certain areas that they don't even want to go through. Why do you not want to go through a city that you live through? You should feel safe wherever you go. You should not have no fear. So I asked, I asked the young gentleman, I said, um, well, what stopped you? What stops you from going down the street? What could happen if you walk down the street right now? What could happen to you? And he was just like, I don't know if he just didn't want to say because he thought like he was going to in trouble or not, but he just didn't know, I guess, how to answer the question. So I thought about it to myself, like, you know, there's, there's, there's certain areas that we be at at certain times and it's something that we stay away, you know what I'm saying? But why is that? We should never want to feel like, oh, at 9 o'clock, I got to go in my house and lock the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should never feel like that at all. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to bring safety, security. You know what I'm saying? I just want to bring hope. I want to let people know that they can do whatever they want to do. They just got to put their mind to it. That's all I want to do. But people can't eat hope, though. They can't eat hope. You're right. So that's why we have places like the Salvation, the Salvation Army, which is a place I used to volunteer at for a couple of years. Um, 
just feeding people. And I met I met people that was in need, and I asked them. I said, "How did you get to a situation like this to where you you, know, you need help or whatever?" Um, the main thing that we need to work on is money management. So I want to start, you know, money management classes to teach people how to manage their money. Because a lot of them, they have to choose between the stuff that they want to do to have fun or putting food on the table. So a lot of them, they have to choose. So putting food on the table should always come first. All due respect, though, isn't that like a normal human thing, though? It is a normal human thing, but a lot of us we don't we don't get taught how to handle things. We don't get taught about credit. We don't get taught about so much stuff in society that could better us in the future. So if we can if we can make money management classes and stuff like that, teach people how money uh, manage their money, then people won't be spending all their money on stuff that they don't need. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's the whole point of social media. Like it looks good, go get it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's the whole thing. But social media can be used in more than one way. Hmm. Interesting. That's a very interesting view. Yes, that's sir. a very interesting perspective because. I'm a. It makes me it makes me give pause in a way, um, because some of what you're saying, it it makes me, and this is me talking. I'm having a, a real conversation with you. Um, it makes it seem like I don't know. It doesn't give the vibes to me that you're ready to 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 be a mayor. Right. You feel me? Uh, that's this is my opinion. No, of course. This is, Go like, ahead. If I had to vote for Biden, Trump, whoever, 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 I'll you know say this, this, my these own. These are people. You, okay. Yeah, Go ahead. My, these Go are my opinion. You know my, my yeah. opinion on them. You feel me? Um, I would like to talking. see you with more of a political background of some kind. Of course. You feel me? I, I didn't I didn't watch the race with Mayor Goins. I don't know how he won. It was I don't a beautiful know. Race. I don't know how he he yeah. became mayor. You feel yeah. me? Very interesting. I should definitely makes me want to look this up. Um, but. I think you being so young, right. you going against these older people, mm-hmm. these the these more seasoned you know humans. I yeah. think that would help you more. Okay. Being being hopeful, being energetic is great. You right. feel me? Then now with all that being said, I want to know what's your political views because you're saying that you talked to you before you said anything. You said that you was at a Salvation Army in the soup kitchens. Yeah. I didn't know that about giving, you. I yeah, think that's cool. Back to them, yeah. You feel me? Uh, I was back there when Miss Amy was back there. I know you don't know the staff or whatever, but the people who do don't, do know the staff, I was back there when uh, Miss Amy was there. Um, no, not Miss Amy, but Stacy, and she was a really beautiful soul. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of the stuff that she was doing for the community got shot down when she moved away because nobody wanted to stand up to do it. And at the time, I still was young, but I offered to, to, to step up and do it, but they didn't want me to because I didn't have the experience. And that's where it goes into play. What I say, like a lot of the youth do can do the jobs that people say they can't do. But it's like we have to get the experience by doing it. You know what I'm saying? How can I get the experience without doing it? So, yes, I am under experience when it comes to political views. I agree with that. But at the same time, y'all let people in the office that have way more political views than me. And what are they doing? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I say this to say I'm for the people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm for the people. If you were the mayor, if you pause, if you did get elected, right, yes, sir. what would be the first thing that you do? Well, I ain't gonna lie. The first thing that I'd do as the mayor would be to take it all in. You know what I'm saying? To look at the beautiful city that we do have. And then the second thing I'll do is, okay, how do I make it better? So that's getting the buildings that, we, that a lot of the buildings that we wanted to get approved years ago, I'll reach out to them. But I'm gonna reach out to them before that, though, and let them know, like, hey, if I get into office, it's gonna you know, go on. So once we bring new buildings in, that's new revenue in. Once we bring new revenue in, we can start to do more stuff for the city. We need places for the kids to have fun. We need places for the kids to be able to learn at. We got the Boys and Girls Club, but we need more after-school programs that people can participate in. What happens if they're full? What happens if somebody that I don't like or somebody I get bullied with goes to that program? I'm not going to feel comfortable going there because I'm a kid. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about telling everybody. But then it's just like if you tell them what happens. So let's just make a whole different other organization that's going to go ahead and give back to the kids as much as the boys and girls do. You know what I'm saying? So we need stuff for the kids. We need stuff for teenagers because at a certain point, I'm too old to do this. I can't be around all these kids. I'm too old. But I'm also not old enough to be around the grown folks. I can't go to bars. So what am I doing? That's why I like the fact that Game Over opened up because it gave people from different age groups a perspective of, dang, we can go play arcade games, man. This is so retro. You know what I'm saying? So it gave people new ideas or whatever or, or where to go after school or, you know, whatever the case may be. But on top of that, 
as adults, we need more stuff to do because a lot of us don't drink and smoke all the time. A lot of us don't even drink at all, so we don't feel comfortable going to bars. But that might be the only place that we can go to that that got age appropriate people at. So well, I'm that was go well, that what goes into our conversation we were having earlier about St. Louis being the bigger city. That's why. right. You feel me? But That's why don't why don't we as a community have that though? I mean, we have lot, the space. A lot of communities don't have that. Right, so but all can be a thriving community. It can be a thriving society. We need this stuff in our city to make it better. Because once we get all that in our city, we wouldn't need to venture off to go to St. Louis. We wouldn't need to venture off to go to Fairview Heights just because I want my kids to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. We wouldn't need that. Well, we can do it well, all here. Well, Mayor Peoples, uh, what will be some of the businesses that you would bring in? You know, um, and with that being said, do you think? that your music career and the antics that you play on the internet will play a part in your uh, in my race? Your race in your formation. It's definitely going to play a, play a part in my race because at the end of the day, the new generation, we use social media to our advantage. So when I go to social media, I can post how I feel, but a lot of times people will try to... Mm, like, if I say 2 plus 2 is 4, people look at it differently. Like, why is he doing math on social media? Why is he doing math on that? So it's just like, sometimes when you say certain things, it don't make sense to people, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a troll. So I'll post stuff that I know people don't like on purpose to just get the reaction. But in reality, I'm not I'm not like that at all in real life. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real fun person to be around. I'm cool. We all hang out. We can, you know, do whatever it takes. I'm, I'm not judgmental. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to judge you for doing whatever you do or say or how you speak or how you maneuver. I'm not going to judge you based on that. I judge you based on, dang, was you real to me? Was you an honest person? So it's just like, it's so much it's so much in all that we can be doing together as a community. But what people don't realize is we got to stick together to do it. Well, there's a danger to always trying to be likable uh, and always doing what people want because then you wind up, you know, uh, depleting the well, if you will. You wind up running dry or using all your energy. Right. Um, and, and people can never truly be satisfied, no matter how much you try to please them. So there must be a reason why we don't have certain things. Right. And I wouldn't even say that you need to create new things. I would just say highlight the things that already exist, boost the things that already exist, right. you know. Um, that too, that but, too. But... But most importantly, when you said that I'm a troll on the internet, I do believe, you know, that could get misconstrued or even looked at a certain way because everything that you do, you know, you can't delete it off the internet. So right. I mean, especially being in a political climate, I would right. I would be concerned. Did you I mean did you didn't make no like racist posts or nothing crazy? Oh uh, no, I mean I, I did a lot of stuff that was crazy. Honestly, if you if honestly when I when I finally woke up to the slumber I was in. Like you said, I didn't go to college. I, I just came straight out of high school. I was just, you know, doing music, just playing around, you know, not taking anything serious or whatever. Um, I really sat and looked at my community or whatever and just realized that I can do change. I can make change. So when I finally woke up, that's when everything stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like the trolling and everything like that. But it took a long time for me to get there. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand that growth doesn't happen overnight. But once you click in and make something in your head, once you put it in your head and you put your mind to it, what what happens is you just say, all right, I got my mind made up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do this childish things anymore. I'm not going to do this. It's actually, I don't know if you're, um, you know, believe in God or whatever. It's a Bible verse that said, um, I forgot the exact words or whatever, but it said, like, I became a man or I became grown when I let my childish things go away. Mm. So when I finally put all my childish things away, that's when I feel like I became a man because I, I didn't I didn't need people views. I mean, I didn't need their... Um, their validation? Their validation. You know what I'm saying? I didn't need that at all. So I think a lot of times what I was trying to do was just poke at people just to, you know, get the interaction, just to make something entertaining. But, right. But that only helps for how long, you know what I'm saying? Now, I, when I changed my mindset to I can actually be helping people in real life, that's when it became a difference. I had my mentor, Mr. Norris, come in and teaching me, like, so much stuff or whatever. Then, you know, you meet people in the, in the community that wants to make change, too, like Josh Young. He wants to make change, too. And he's actually doing it right now by teaching younger people, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like when you meet people that think like you, your mind can change as well, too. You know what I'm saying? You're, and it's just, it's, it's cool that it's people that do the trolling stuff because some people need to be entertained in a way that we can't help them because we can't see everybody that, that, that need help. But social media has a thing where they can see everything. You know what I'm saying? So some people don't troll like as in a bad way, but some people troll in a good way to make people laugh. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So as far as my music, I only do that as a hobby. 
Like, I'm not actually trying to be like a rapper or a singer or whatever, but sometimes I might make songs where I sing yeah, or I rap. It, yeah. yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, I would never consider myself a rapper or an artist. I'll just say that I do that as a hobby. So are you, are you, are you saying that you're a hundred percent into this mayor thing? I'm a thousand percent into it. This ain't no skit. This, this ain't no skit. No this ain't me trolling. This ain't me, you know what I'm saying, putting on a facade. This is me. I really want to make my city, I want to make the community that we all were born and raised from different. We want to welcome new people in. Like, And even though St. Louis got so much stuff, guess who they like? They like our St. Louis, I mean, they like our Arden woman. So, <laughs> you know, St. Louis to come over here to Arden. So, Arden definitely has what we need. I don't, so what you finna do as mayor? Bring more prostitutes over no, here or something? No, like, that's, hey, that's we gonna bring not... in, we gonna fly in more bad women, boys. <laughs> no. From no. Aero Dobby, all that. That's no, funny, but no, I'm just saying like, Arden has a lot to offer, but sometimes people don't see their potential. It takes somebody else looking at them and say, dang, you really can do this and this. And then it takes another person to say the same thing, because sometimes they'll listen, but they won't hear it. It's because the, you know what I'm saying? The grass is greener on the other side. On the side, yeah. So some people think like, hey, if I do this, I do this, it'd be good. But I'm just saying in reality, being from Alton, growing up in Alton, um, you know, doing for my community al already, there's so much in the community that I've done that people don't even realize that I've done. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't do it for, oh, let, let's take a picture. Let me give you some money. Let me take a picture. I fed the homeless. I gave to the needy. I gave to people who, you know what I'm saying? If I ain't give this money, they like, their lights to be off. Their power to be off. Their water to be off. They're going to get evicted. I've done stuff like that. No. But I don't brag about stuff like that because they don't, they don't need to know about that stuff. I'm do doing you, it to help you out. Do you think other mayors, or uh, was there, uh, may, may, potential mayors? There you go. Potential mayors? Yeah. Mayoral candidates, there you go, there you go. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> McVeigh. Uh, mayoral candidates are out there doing genuine community service. No. Do you, do you, have you met your competition yet, or? Honestly, um, Walker, uh, when I was part of Aces for Youth, when he was running for office, uh, he came to, you know, Mission Norris and, you know, our community. Uh, for, it's called Aces for Youth. Right. Um, so if you look it up or whatever, we did a lot of things, but uh, Walker came up to us to, to get our votes. You know what I'm saying? And what my mentor said that, that really stuck out to me was, if you want to be a part of this community, do some work. Warning. 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 Explicit content advisory. Lodi's Room Podcast is an unscripted program that is not in any way responsible for what Mayor Peoples does or says during this program. Next segment contains explicit content. Topic. New topic. What? Okay, so I had sold this girl. Hold up, pause. You, this is. We're on camera. That's, that's, We're on it. Yeah, that's on cool, air. And then, and then on top of that, pause. You said you want to keep it about your mayor stuff. But this Politically. Can, this can affect it, though. Okay, alright. Go ahead. It's I'm ready. We're, we're good. And. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> I don't know what I do with my chapstick. Nah. Anyway, I would have went public with this because it was getting on my nerves, but it was a female. Um, so this, the, so the way you haven't talked about this before? Like, this is the first time? Like, what are you talking about? I, I went public with it, like, talking about it on Facebook, but obviously I have a new audience. Right. So I have to, like, rebring it back up for the people who don't know. You know right. what I'm saying? So basically, um, I was with this female. She had a boyfriend. Uh, but she was like, quote unquote, my best friend at the time. You know okay. what I'm saying? It was kind of like a social media thing where like, they're, they're like a social media best friend because you never hung out like in person, but okay. you could talk to them about anything. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, cool. So she called me one time and said that she needed a ride. So I'm like, okay, cool. I said, where you going? She said, she's going to her boyfriend's house. I'm like, all right, cool. Say less. So I go, I was finna in the process of meeting somebody that was in STL. You know what I'm saying? We were just finna hang out. Let's just say hang out. Yeah. Okay. Hang out. All right. Yeah, I just say hang out. Um, so I'm like, all right, well, I'm finna leave right now. Are you ready? She said, yeah. So I go pick her up, take her to the apartment. She said, oh, dang, like, my key is in my book bag. My book bag is in this place. So let me go check to see if the door's unlocked. So okay. he went, she went up there. She, she It was locked. It's her she house? She came back down. That's her boyfriend's house. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so you picked her up from her boyfriend's house? I picked her up from her house. I took and her to her boyfriend's. And took her to her boyfriend's. But what happened was, the whole time what happened was, 
they had just got pulled over. You know okay. what I'm saying? So then she was telling them that, you know, she didn't have a ride or she didn't have anything like that. So, because they took the car too. So then, you know, one of the police officers was nice enough to, you know, give the, give her a ride home. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're not really supposed to do that, but they can do that if they want to. Because I've, I've gotten a lot of rides from polices. Yeah. Like whenever I'm supposed to leave the premises or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? So um, I would always tell them that I got to leave the premises because then they know it's urgent. But I shouldn't tell them that because I don't want them I, using, I don't want them, I don't want them using the police well, like that, though. Well, you know what I'm saying? You hey, you can't get no free rides from the police. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No, ma no matter what y'all say. like mm, You just got the plug. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, go ahead. But anyway, so, um, so I'm like, okay, well, I, I, I go, I got to go do something or whatever. Let me just, like, you want to ride with me? She said, cool. She said, I mean, she said, yeah, I can ride with you. So I call my brother or whatever, and then uh, I was going to borrow something from him. You know what I'm saying? So then... <laughs> I, anyway, long story short, I go pick up my brother. We go to St. Louis. I go chill with the girl. Um, she hops in the front seat from the front seat to the back seat. All right. And then, um, so I head back to the car. I'm like, okay, cool. While I'm driving down the highway, you know what I'm saying, I guess some stuff was going on. You know what I'm saying? Because Going on with her? With, with her herself? And my brother. Her and my brother. In the back seat? Yeah, he was in the back seat. Okay. While I'm driving. You All know what right. I'm saying? So... I guess some stuff was going on because the window started getting foggy. While you driving. While I'm driving, you know what I'm saying? Then right. I ain't going to lie, you know, St. Louis do got potholes, so it was kind of bumpy, you know what I'm saying, on, on, right. the, on, on the way back, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so anyway, I go drop him off, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. it, it just stopped being bumpy all it of a sudden, stopped, you know what I'm saying? Stopped. So, you know, I drop him off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then I go to my apartment. Right. So since you just got done doing what you got done doing, you know what I'm saying, whatever you was doing, P the potholes. I leave you. I, I thought it was the potholes. Yeah. yeah, it was the potholes. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, after the potholes got done doing his job, you know what I'm saying, making the car rocky a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I, I, leave, I leave her in my car because I'm like, shit, you know, this you don't want to do that shit with me, so you ain't finna come in. I had a rule, like, in my apartment. Like, oh. the only female that's not family, if they female, we got to fuck. You know what I'm saying? So if you just got done fucking... You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact I ain't going to be able to do that with you, so I don't want you in my crib. That's the mindset that I had back then. Only when I hold over. What's back then? Back then when my mind was such, like, not evolved. You know but what, what I'm saying? You got time limit on this? When was back it's then? It's not. So this was, like, 2019. You know what I'm saying? Like And like I said, like it takes time to, to grow up and mature or whatever, but at the same time, once you locked in, once you woke up, you woke. You know what I'm saying? You right. can't go back to sleep. So that's back then where I was still, you know what I'm saying, wasting my life away, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, just... Being a normal citizen, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't a good citizen because I wasn't giving back to my community community back then. I stopped for a little bit. So anyway, went into like a little quote unquote depression or whatever. So then I just I just want to hose. She had to fill the void. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. That's back then. Like I mean, like So like back in 2019, you had this rule in your house that if you wasn't family. If there wasn't family, then the only ones that I want over is hoes. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, and, so you had, sa and you saying so she was done. She she was she fucked your brother in the back seat. I didn't say that. I just said the roads was bumpy. Remember because of potholes. You just got done doing what you got done doing. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you was doing. I leave her in my car because I'm like shit. You know you don't want to do that shit with me. I didn't say anything about them having intercourse or not. I just said like the road, like the, the window. Fogging up a little bit, and then uh, you know the potholes was making the car bounce up a little bit. So right. that's all. That's all I know. Oh, okay. Happened. All right. You know all what I'm right. saying. So anyway. Right. So, but she just seemed, you know, kind of tired from my point of view. So mm. I just figured if you want to come in and sleep, you know what I'm saying, this not one of those places for you. You know what I'm saying. So oh. I went in. So I went inside my house. I went to go take a shit actually. Then I, you know. What but saying? you left her in your car. Left her. I swear to God. You know did, what I'm saying. Did you lock like the this, car? No, nah, I didn't lock the car because she was in there. You know what I'm saying. But. I wanted her to figure out what she was going to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you waiting for your, cause you and your boyfriend just got pulled over. So you wait for your boyfriend to get booked. But sometimes the police can wait before they book you. Hold because up, wait a second. Off. This story just went crazy for me. What? I thought your brother was her boyfriend. No, no, no. So they fucked in your back seat and she got a boyfriend. I never, I never said that. Uh, allegedly, sorry, allegedly. I mean, if you say allegedly, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So listen, her boyfriend's still getting booked or whatever, and sometimes they make you wait, especially if you piss them off. And if you rush them, they're definitely not finna hurry Yo, up. You know what I'm saying? Yo, hold up. Pause. So, what? Bro, so what? this girl allegedly has a boyfriend just been... No, she actually has a boyfriend. Actually has a boyfriend. Because the whole point was actually, me taking her to her boyfriend's right, 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 right. house. You took her to her boyfriend's house. That was the whole she, point. She just, 
She's just your home girl. On the way to go to St. Louis. She's just your home girl. She's my home girl. I, I used to call I, her one of my feel, best friends. I, I hear what you're saying, but yeah. this is how you're telling the story. This That's is my how I'm understanding girl. it. Okay, so go this, ahead. This is your home girl that you took to her boyfriend's house. Right. And then they later went, like, they did whatever. They got, they got arrested. They got pulled over. She got a ride back to her crib, which was really her boyfriend's house. No, uh, to oh, her crib. It was her crib, and yeah. you picked her up and took her From to her, her crib to her boyfriend. Right, and then I guess you... she thought her boyfriend would have been booked by now, but uh, it wasn't. All right, 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 She right, couldn't right, get inside. Right. So then you took her from where to, to where? So I took her. Then I went to my brother's house because he wanted to ride with me to St. Louis. Right. So we was... I mean, it kind of don't make sense if I don't say exactly what we was doing. No, but, no, like, no, I don't want to say it. it. You don't got to so say it. So all I know is I got back up for something I was going to go do. You know what I'm saying? That's mm. all I can say. All you know right. what I'm saying? And then when I went to go do it, you know what I'm saying? I was cool. Mm. She was in the front seat. Mm-hmm. My brother said, nah, bro, you don't, she don't got in the back seat. She can stay up front. Mm-hmm. So she decided when I parked to hop in the back seat. So mm. whatever they was talking about, mm-hmm. she went back there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I, when I went to go in the car, mm-hmm. went to go drive Drop home, around. it started getting foggy, bumpy, woo woo. I go drop him off. The, it just it just stops. You know what I'm saying? So it's good. So <laughs> the shaking has stopped. So listen, I, but I put this on my life. You know what I'm saying? Like it's stuff that you can make sound good, but it's stuff that you just can't lie about. Like I know, like the truth. People don't really like to hear the truth. They just like they like to hear lies. But it's like the truth sounds so hard to believe. But like this what happened. I went to my place. I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying, you ain't finna fuck because you just got done, so I'm finna go in the crib. I leave it in the crib, you know what I'm saying, I mean, not, not... You saying, so she was done, she, she was, she fucked your brother in the backseat. I didn't say that. I just said the rose was bumpy, remember, because the potholes. I leave her in my car, because I'm like, shit, you know, this you is... don't want to do that shit with me. I leave it in the crib, you know what I'm saying, I mean, not, 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 I didn't leave, I left it in my car. I left her in my car, went upstairs, took a shit. You know, when you're, on, you t- when you're taking the shit, you on your phone, right? Right, right? I'm on my phone just, you know, scrolling or whatever. I get on Snapchat or whatever. I see that she posts something. Mm. So then what she posted on Snapchat was, um, is there anybody house that I can chill out for a little bit till I figure something out? You know what I'm saying? But I knew what she was trying to figure out. She was trying to wait till her boyfriend got released so then she can let him in. So I, I slide up like, damn, why you just asked to come in? She said, you left me in the car. And I said, oh, you're right. You know what I'm saying? I did leave you in the car. But I... In reality, I left her in the car because I thought she didn't, didn't want to fuck. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like, so then she's like, okay, well, where you at? So I go to the window and I guide her through text messages to tell her where my apartment was at. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I'm like, hey, just come just come around back, make a left or whatever. So in the video that I can't get, but I, hopefully the, since the case already dismissed or whatever, they should be able to release well, it. a case? Well, she made allegations saying that I raped her. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, uh, when me and her was talking, we was vibing or whatever, so um, I ended up, you know what I'm saying? Can, can you cuss on that? Yeah. Oh, I just can't say that? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, that's, that's the trigger word. Or, 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 or in the, or, the M word. Or the K, or the K word. The, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. the pedophiles, you know what I mean? Okay, all right, cool, 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 yeah, cool. That. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, all, right, yeah. all right, so anyway, me and her vibing, we chilling or whatever, we ended up, you know what I'm saying, doing it too. I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? We went crazy, you know what I'm saying? Her brother, why her brother... crazy. It's crazy work to bro, say. Bro, nah, but like, she... Hey, anyway, um, I go, and she, her brother calling her, so, you know, I start slowing down or whatever, and she saw him out of breath on the phone, so he asked, and I remember it was like it was yesterday, he asked, what you doing? And she was like, uh... And he's about to click his memory when he see this. He got this gonna click his memory. You know what I'm saying? See this? Like see this episode? See the, see the episode? Yeah, it's gonna click his memory. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? Cause it, he gonna it's gonna remind him like she was doing that while I was on the phone with her. It sounded like she was doing that, but it just didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, you know, anyway, when we get done or whatever, and then as soon as she got the phone, she said, Don't nut at me. And I ain't gonna lie, in that era, I was going crazy with the mm-hmm. Did you already? Nuts. You already did. So you? I ain't gonna lie. You I did. just, I, bro, did. yes, you... I had nothing in there. So I said, she said, don't nut in me. I you said, already, I, 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 you already I, unloaded the No, clip. but listen, I'm as I'm still stroking, I'm telling her too late. You know what too I'm saying? Too late. So then it's she was crazy like, work, my boy. This is not a laughing matter. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not trying to make light of this. No, for real. I'm not. I'm not even laughing. I thought this it was too just, late, though. I'm just like, listening to what you're saying. I just thought it was too late. You know what I'm saying? And that's she was diabolical. like, that's when she was like, well, get off me. You know what I'm saying? Because I was in from the back or whatever. She was like, get off me. So she ran to the bathroom and then she did whatever she tried to do or whatever. And then um, that's when her boyfriend was calling while she was cleaning up. And then, like, and that's why I didn't ever want to trust females. So is this the same night? 
This all the same night. Like, as I got done nothing there, she told me, she said, stop, get off of me. So I was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I had already nothing. So I was cool. I just want to make sure that you was good. You know what I'm saying? So then she go in the bathroom, try to clean her stuff up. Her boyfriend's calling. Then the second time he called or whatever, she went to the phone, answered it. And then, then she was like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just telling one of my best friends. Ooh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, I guess my side is going to start to connect with the people that was involved at the time because it didn't make sense to them. But now they can... Like, see. So then she was he was like, Oh, you probably was some nigga fucking them already. I just got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all females. Okay, I didn't know if I could say that. Y'all all females ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So uh the irony. You know what I'm saying? The irony of that. They not, you know what I'm saying? Like I can uh, contest for that. Like they not. So he's like, No, we just hung out, we just I didn't have nowhere to go. <laughs> Ooh. Like just all type of stuff, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And she makes she lying to this man, make it sound so good. So I'm like, all right, cool. She's like, well, he's going to drop me out because I don't have no way to get to you. And they just took your car. So, you know, um, he's going to have to drop me off or whatever. But, you know, he, we, we didn't do anything. I promise you. Like, woo, woo. So I'm looking at her like, damn, this, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, whew. females are diabolical, man. For real, they really is. But, you know what I'm saying? I go drop her off. Then I go, my brother um, said that he wanted to go to the club or whatever. So I went back home fresh the and up or whatever. Get, what no, club? not the not the club. Uh, it was uh, Max. We call that the club because okay, like, that's Max. like a kicker spot. Yeah. Right, but right. that's really a bar. But we call it the club. It's the only club that we got. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't know. I was like, the club. Yeah, it's the only club that we got. You know what I'm saying? So we went to Max or whatever and then we kicked it or whatever. Woo, woo. And then the next day, he had hit me up. And then this is why I should have tapped in with my brother. He hit me up because he was actually was bored. So me and my sister were supposed to go there and we didn't. So then he did some stupid stuff or whatever. Then he ended up going to jail. Um, and I feel like if I would have linked up with him or my sister would have linked up with him, he would have never did the what it took to go to get locked up or whatever. Wait, hold up, pause. What? You you didn't I know you didn't just breeze past what you just said, what you said. So your how did your brother end up in jail? So well actually he already served his time. Yeah, he actually saw somebody, so I can say that. But, oh but, no, I can't. He pew pew somebody. Pew pew. I mean you, got, can, you can say that. The but, dude got boom. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. Uh, Paul, you going from one elevator? I'm up. Paul, so listen, we're sweating right now. Bro, listen, <laughs> man, I ain't gonna lie. My life was like a movie, man. If I, I really hear make you, it, but, but we not gonna breeze past that. So, okay, so the so next you, day, no, no, hold up. So you at okay. Max, and then you're saying you you're there with your brother. Yeah. And so did he boom somebody? No, he didn't do it that day. The okay. next day. All right. The I next got day. Done, right. All right. Because like I ain't gonna lie, I'm starting to get old. I can't party every day. I can't kick it every day. Right, but what led to the booming? And then what led so, to the case? So, so what well, led to the the next day or whatever, um, some female, him and his girlfriend at the time went to go check on, you know, one of his, you know, play sisters or whatever, and they heard yelling in there, so he just wanted to make sure everything was cool. So as he go in there or whatever, they're fighting or whatever, but he's so used to them fighting. Um, she was like, I'm leaving or whatever, I'm leaving with them or whatever, because, you know, his girl was they, was her, they play sisters, you know what I'm saying? So they always close, you know what I'm saying? So, um... He he didn't want to he wouldn't let her leave. So my brother was like, bro, she's a grown woman. She can leave. You know she's gonna come back to you. Just you know let her leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you can beat on somebody, but don't do it in front of me. You know what I'm saying? If a female go be willingly go back to you time and time again, I'm just you know what I'm saying. Don't want to get involved. Y'all gotta work issues out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you know that's how he was or whatever. So, um, but he said, hey, you know what I'm saying? That he was there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, All you right. know you can't put your hands on her in front of me or whatever. If she wants to leave, she can leave. But you already know she's gonna come back. You always know she was gonna right. come back. Cause y'all do it with this all the time. Right. So. Um, long story short, dude was like, oh, I'm tired of people getting in our business. Oh, I got something for you. So then, as, as, as the person how, was so going, little... as he was going towards that, you know what I'm saying, that happened, he got shot, but he shot him below the waist, you know what I'm saying, so he served four years, you know what I'm saying, so he just got out last year. And that's Rhino, the one that you do music with too, so that's Rhino, you know what I'm saying, so. Mm. And so then, we... after he shot him, he took him to the hospital, you know what I'm saying. Right, but what led up to your case, though? So, so we did that Friday. We hung out Saturday. He did that Sunday. By Monday, all of a sudden, I ain't gonna lie, I was chilling with the next female. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was chilling with a female or whatever. We drinking. I'm getting a phone call from my neighbor saying, hey, the police is towing your car. I'm like, all right, cool. Boom. So he called me again. He called him again. I'm like, bro, what a female, bro. Just stop, stop calling me. So I hung up, right? My baby mama called me. I'm like, oh, something gotta be going on. My baby mama called me, so I answered. I'm like, what's going on? She said, hey, like, people saying that your car just got towed or whatever. And, and I'm like, towed? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean my car got towed? I, I bought my car. What you mean? So then, um, but why I, you, I called the police. You, so did the girl pick you up? Like, how did you not have your own car? No, so I drove the female there to my place. You know what I'm saying? So this your, is, your car's being towed from outside your house? From outside my place. You didn't even know it? 
I didn't know. I'm in the South to play. I, I live in an apartment complex that had cameras everywhere. Oh. So I didn't know. You know oh. what I'm saying? I'm in the house. You know, we was drinking. We was going right. to engage yeah, in that. So then I, I, I go out there. It's gone. I'm like, what the heck? So I called I called the non-emergency. No, I called the 991 one. And then she, they was like, oh, you can't call us. We got to call the non-emergency one. I said, it's an emergency. Somebody took my car. And they said, it's you. What? This is, this is an emergency. So they made me they made me um, hang up or whatever. And I got to call the non-emergency one. And I told them that, you know, y'all got my car. They said, um, no, we don't. And they looked and I said, oh, OK, come down here. Um, you know, I'm just like, what do you mean come down here? So I made a post. I'm like, yo, y'all file, you know what I'm saying? If anything happened to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, what did I say? What did I say? Oh, okay. I said, if I get arrested, free me. That's what I said. Oh, wow. That's what I said. You know what I'm saying? Awesome, awesome playing around stuff, but I didn't know what I could have done to get arrested because the police told my car. Right. So I'm like, okay, cool. I go down there. Uh, they ask me, you know, what I did or whatever Friday night, but I leave a lot of details out, leave a lot, a lot of details, details out, out because, you know, it didn't, it didn't matter, you know what I'm saying, in my opinion. So then they said, well, um, did you do anything else? Did you hang out with a certain female? I said, oh, yeah, 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 and I just started cheesing, smirking and stuff because in, in, my, in my opinion, I'm like, okay, you, everything was cool. So then they told me, well, that female made allegations towards you saying that you graped her, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I graped her. I'm like, I'm like, nah, you tripping, man. Let me call her right now. So um, I tried to go on Facebook to call her, and it said I was blocked. Mm. Like, I couldn't call. Mm. I'm like, okay, cool. I go to Snapchat. I'm trying to look for her. I can't find her. I'm like, what? So then I try to text her, and it's seen it showing me green messages. Mm. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, because this is when reality kicked in. Because right, I'm like, right. I'm like, nah, ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you talking about this female right here? Like, I, I go like find a picture on my phone. She sent me like a while ago. And then he, she like, they're like, yes. I'm like, ain't no way, you know what I'm saying? Like, so then it was like, well, your brother already confessed uh, to doing it too, so you might as well go ahead and get it over with. I'm like, my brother confessed to what? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would he confess to some stuff that we didn't do? You know what I'm saying? Right. And then they try to say that we did it in the car. So long story short, they they took my car so that they can test it for DNA. Right. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, my DNA gonna be in the car, but it will never be in the back seat because I'm always in the front seat. So they ain't get no DNA in the back seat. They did a uh, grape test on her. Came back negative, you know what I'm saying? I showed them uh, video footage of her willingly walking into my place and us leaving together, which contradicted her statement of saying that I graped her in the car. She said me and my brother graped her in the car, when why would I do something with you in a car when I have my own place for her? You know what I'm saying? That's what that's for, you know what I'm saying? Like, it feel like when you have your own place, you feel like that's your kingdom, you know what I'm saying? So I always would bring females to my kingdom, you know what I'm saying, that I think that I can do it with. If not, if I don't think I can do it, like, we just gonna chill outside, we gonna chill at your place, you know what I'm saying? But at that time, I didn't wanna be no females that I didn't think that I can ever grape with. I mean, not grape with, but uh, have sex with. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So, um, it was just crazy, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that stuff happened or whatever. Um, and it was it was, it was was a, a crazy point in my life, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, two days later, my best friend had ended up going to shells and ended up passing away. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Austin. Peterson? Uh, yeah, Austin, yeah, so. We went to church together. Yep, yep, yep. So, so, so oh, yeah, you said this was in 2019, so I'm sorry. Yeah, like, so you, all this happening you, at one we, time, we, you, you know what I'm saying? You bring it up like it's recent. Okay, so you're right. So let's fast forward. You know what I'm saying? So I played my case on Facebook or whatever. The people that believe me, they believe me. You know what I'm saying? People who didn't, they didn't. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think what made them more upset was um, I started trolling with it. That's me. Right. I started I start trolling with it. Okay? So back then, for my case, the people who believe me, they believe me. People who didn't, they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Long story short. So now... Um, that it got brought back up again. So now people know that I'm running for, you know, mayor and stuff like that. A situation with a female that I um I sold a vehicle to um had occurred. You know what I'm saying? So um you can legally sell nine cars in your name, you know what I'm saying? So talk it to the IRS right there. So anyway, I had got some information on the vehicle saying that I can do this with a vehicle and I can sell it and I can get rid of it. Well, long story short, I guess I wasn't allowed to, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, didn't know that. What do you mean you're not allowed so, to? I had a, a vehicle that had a salvage title, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I didn't know that I wasn't able to sell um, a vehicle that has a salvage title. The dude that I bought the car from said that whenever I sign it or on it, that's, it becomes your car. So he said, just don't sign on it, and then you'll be able to sell it. And then the person that put their name on it, it'll be registered to them, and then they can you know, get it registered and everything like that. That's the information I was told. So I'm like, okay, cool. So then I tell them the same as I think. I even give them my word because you're another gentleman, you know what I'm saying, that you're a small business as well, you sell vehicles, 
Why would you lie to sell that vehicle? You could have just sold me a different vehicle. You know what I'm saying? But so you got this car from a dealership? I got it from a dealership who sold it to me privately. Because I how told the, him, how the dealership sell it to you privately? Because I told him if I if I buy the car from the dealership, I'm already at nine cars, so I can't sell the car. So if they sell it to me privately, then um, that's why you say you just don't sign it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a local store, like a local dealership. No, this is in um, Missouri. You know what I'm saying? St. Louis. So the person who I sold the car to was in St. Louis. So what I do is I, I buy cars from St. Louis because they be cheaper, and then I find you know local people or whatever that can find it or, um that can work on it. So um I, we I found this person that can work on the vehicle or whatever. So then um he ended up working on it, fixing it, and then he said um I know I talked to him. I said hey you know do you think that I can um you know keep this car here for you you know what I'm saying uh until I sell it mm-hmm. you know and then you know I'll try to pay you once I sell it or something like that you know what I'm saying. So he was like yeah man I don't have no problem with that. So then um. It actually, um, he found one somebody to sell it. You know what I'm saying? I guess his girlfriend or whatever found somebody right, to sell it right, or whatever. Right, 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 right. So he, he reached out to me. He told me, hey, you know, we, we got some people that can sell it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? So we found out that, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, um, um, I wasn't allowed to sell the car. Right. And they went to the, they went to some Rhonda Moore license place, you know, place. Or she, Why'd you say it like that? Because Rhonda Moore, what she does is she like she's like a local person that's like the DMV, but she like the local person DMV. So you can you can get through like a lot of loops and stuff through her. You know what I'm saying? That you wouldn't be able to go through if you went to the DMV. Plus, it's quicker because the wait time is less, but you got to pay more. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she went. They went to one of those type of people, and then um, the, the person said they couldn't do it. So then they called me. Or whatever, um, saying that they couldn't um, get the car registered or anything like that, so they wanted a refund. I said, okay, give me till Monday. Let me see if I can get it registered or whatever, and I got you. So they waited till Monday or whatever, which was today, and then they, um, I couldn't find nothing. I found the information for the number that they had to register everything through. So I said, hey, um, you know what I'm saying? The deal was, if you cannot get the car registered, and I even made a video, if you cannot get the car registered, then I will give you a full refund. So the thing, the whole thing was they could get the um, vehicle registered, but it would take more to do it, to get it registered. Like they have to, you know, pay 300 to go to this person, do the paperwork for the, um, you know, to, to get it from unsalvaged to regular. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to go get it inspected. Then you got to wait, like, you know, for them to do it or whatever. So long story short, they could. So from my point of view, I low-key never lied. You know what I'm saying? You can get it registered. You just got to go through too much or whatever. But they said they couldn't. So I said, okay, cool. Since you can't get it registered or whatever, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Now, do you think as a future mayor, do you think that's a good business practice? No, this is this is only what I'm doing, like, so that I can have more money to fund my campaign. I don't want to sell cars. I don't want to, just for this reason right here, you know what I'm saying? I, this is not the business that I want to go into at all. Mm-hmm. I want to go ahead and take care of my people. So what I told her was, I said, okay, cool. I can get you the refund, but we ran into a snag. You told me on Tuesday that you was going to register the car. You went until Friday, so by Thursday, I already spent half the money. So all I have is half the money. And I said, would you take that? She said, no. Okay, cool. What's all my money? What's all my net? And then I, from my point of view, like, I just I just sold one car. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I waited a couple of days past the time, the, time, the time limit that you gave me. So I'm trying to sell this car within a certain amount of time. You know what I'm saying? So long story short or whatever, I told her she's just going to have to wait for me to give her money or whatever. Now she made a post about me and tried to ruin my uh, sponsorship or whatever. She's trying to ruin my name. Uh, she went on Facebook saying I sold her, you know, a bogus car that she couldn't register or whatever, which she can't register. It just takes more to it. But even if she couldn't register or whatever, the deal was when you sell, you know, savage cars, it's as is. You know what I'm saying? Me and her brother already talked about as everything as is. And I said the only thing with this is I guarantee you if you can't get a register, I'll give you a refund. So she could not get it registered or anything like that. I would give her a full refund. You know what I'm saying? So that's the deal we made. So if you can get it registered, but you just gotta do more to it, and you you don't you don't know what you're doing, then that's not on me. It's, it's as is. When you buy something as is, you can't just take it back. You stuck with it. Mm. I gave you a look. I gave you a lot of a lot of option. You know what I'm saying? So they trying to say this bad business or whatever, but it's just it's not bad business. It's literally in the contract. It's literally in. The proof was in the pudding as is, you know what I'm saying? So now tomorrow, what I was gonna do was cause I just got a phone call from somebody that was cool with them and they, they said, hey, you know, and they saying this and this. So, so 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 she just went all this so she's upset. I I'm gonna say in some way, shape, or form, I don't know the whole deal. I'm gonna say yeah. she's she's and, upset because she said she can get a car registered. Right. And then so she found out about the case with you? No, so she goes to social media and say, 
hey, do anybody know this person? He sold me a bogus car or whatever. So then, you know, people are sharing and everybody's sharing it. So the people are like, oh, yeah, we know him. What's going on? And then, like, um, one female comment on the same female told me, well, I know him. That's my rapist. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm just like, dang. You know what I'm saying? Like, this been since 2019. You still mad about that stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff that you literally mad at me because you want to go to the police and say that I raped you. And they do tests. They do, um, they, they go so many ways to prove that if you got raped or not. Leave a lot of details out. Leave, leave a, lot a lot of details, of details out. out. You know what I'm saying? They go through all that stuff. And they couldn't find nothing. You know what I'm saying? Then on top of that, I'm telling them, like, I can take a lot of tests. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing them video proof of me not doing this. You know what I'm saying? So the odds are stacked against you. And leave a lot of details out. Leave Leave a, lot a lot of details out. out. And, and what I don't like about society is... Well, you said video proof of you not doing it? As far as, like, her willingly walking in and then me willingly walking out. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because what happened is we took place... It took place in my house. But she said it happened in the car. So just nothing that she was saying just added up to them. So they just dismissed the case. You know what I'm saying? And then I told them, like, she messing up my reputation because the people who don't know me, they would actually believe a female over Def a guy. Definition of you know what I'm saying? So then it, it, brought, it brought me to... Say, like, guys really got to prove that they didn't do something before they get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't just get accused of nothing and then just go about our life. No, that actually affects us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I really feel like she, she should have got jail time for that, but I never pressed it. You know what I'm saying? I said, okay, I'm not getting charged or nothing. I'm just going to leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? You mess up my reputation. Let me just, you know, go about that. Right. But... You know what I'm saying? That's that's basically what it is. You know what I'm so saying? Is this, is this so the female, the picture, I guess, got to her. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's sharing it or whatever. So she comments on it and say that. So then everybody just like I know to it. Oh, I know, uh, I know of him. I know him. Or you know what I'm saying? Like, and then just like the only person that could ever try to say that stuff is her. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else can ever say nothing like that. But she she literally like tried her best to ruin me for that. She really tried her best, and it's just like. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally did everything you asked. I gave you a ride to your boyfriends. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It just, like, don't make sense. And then people say, well, your side doesn't make sense or whatever. Like, well, why would she lie about that? Why would I lie about that? Well, Why would I even do that? I don't know who's lying or who's not. That's not what I'm here for. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But no, based on your story, I mean, it, I, mean it, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's all, yeah. I mean, it's my story's all, not going to make sense. With, your, yeah. with a girl, with a boyfriend that... Allegedly made your car. I didn't know. I didn't that. know. I, I didn't know the boyfriend. No, 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 no. The, the neighbor. My neighbor called me. Said they got told. Yeah. What I said was, you knew she had one. You right. picked her up from the place or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Took her to it. Whatever. Yeah. You know. Then what I said was, made your car bounce up and down the highway. Allegedly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you. I was you know, That's now. that's a lot. You know. Yeah. That's a crazy prediction. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's a crazy story in general. Like you yeah. know, what I'm saying people don't believe it, but that's what happened. And, and, like, and, it's, and, and, and it's just like the people that's out there doing the same thing. Like they know how females get. I mean, bro. I mean, they know we, how females yeah, is. Yeah, right, right. Well, we know how dudes are too because they're doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> so, <Yeah>. but inside <laughs> the point though, yeah. uh, I'm glad you stepped in here, man. Yeah. Like this is. Yeah, this, I'm glad I got to get that off this, my chest this, because like a lot of people they're they're trying to rebring that back up and it's just like. You know, the police really have a lot of technology now than they did back in the day. So back in the day, a lot of criminals did used to escape from stuff and get away from stuff. So they're just like, you know, he didn't have enough evidence because there wasn't no evidence to get. I leave a lot of details out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Everything was consensual. The best offense is not saying nothing at all. Yeah, but no, I just wanted to address that and then I left it alone. You know what I'm saying? I addressed it like, hey, I'm just not my character. This is not who I am and left it alone. But it's crazy I have to prove that I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? She should be proven that I did it instead of that I didn't do it. It's kind of hard to do that. Because if you didn't record y'all actually doing it, how could you show proof? You can't. That's where I thought when you that's where I thought you was going with the I could show proof. I'm like, y'all made a video or something? Uh no, nah, no, nah, we didn't make a video. I uh, was just saying, I was just saying the way you said it. I was yeah, just I was like, what nah, do you mean by that? You know what I mean? Like, nah, what do you mean? Nah. You know what I'm saying? But no. Nah. Nah. But, but no. yeah, it's just a he say, she say type of thing yeah. or whatever, and people are going to believe females because females got to stick together, you know what I'm saying? So Well, you you running for mayor, man, so yeah. let's hopefully that none of this is a stain on your reputation, none of this affects your race, and man, I, you be the youngest, mayor the ever. youngest black mayor, I think, in history, maybe? Yeah, I'm not actually, sure. yeah, I've, I've all known whatever I did my research on that. I well, I'm in the history in the world, of the yeah. U.S. right now. You know? <laughs> I want to say the world, not the world, yeah. the U.S. It's just like, I just like, man, I'm just like everybody else. I'm a citizen just like everybody else. So me running for mayor means that a citizen that lives in the community, that provides for the community, can do, give back to the community and get the people back together. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, like, 
for situations like that, like people can just come up and just say whatever and people will believe it because they don't know. But it's just like, how do you prove, you know what I'm saying? When people bring up stuff like that, how do you prove it? You can't. So it's just like, oh, well, you shouldn't be around. Whatever. Uh, I run it for mayor. I'm trying to bring change to the community and to the people and how they think. So I would like the, <laughs> the votes of the people, you know what I'm saying? If you want an honest person that's in the streets, that's making a change already, elect me into office and see what I can bring to the table. Mm. Like you see what you bring to the table. Yeah, and I do want to summarize this real quick too because a lot of people don't understand that when you sign these petitions or whatever, this is just for me to get on the ballot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not actually becoming mayor when you sign this. You know what I'm saying? This is giving me the potential to be for mayor. I mean, be uh, mayor, but I'm not actually going to be the mayor yet. I still got to compete against other people that's in the running. So I need um, 197 signatures, and this is just giving me a chance to be on the ballot. That's it. 197. 197. Easy. You know we got saying? we got 30,000 people along. So, so far, I only got 100, but um, that just with me not using social media. So now I'm trying to see what I can do with social media because I already tapped out with the people that I can, you know what I'm saying, do. So now I need the help. So if you want a person that's for the people, go ahead. So if you if you like the message here, if you like this, if you like the Mayor of People's story, or if you want to learn more about Mayor of People's, go ahead and check out Mayor of People's on his social media handles right here or and or make sure you sign that ballot you know you know what it is this is golden room baby where the music's hot and the vibes are chill i'm your host ruby you know that guy that's cooler than you baby daddy you know the way yeah you know the vibe hey mcbake mcbake cut the tape cut, cut, cut the tape cut the tape mcbake <laughs>